Hi there! So first off, if I look like I got punched in the face, um, I kind of did. I got a pimple yesterday and I spent an hour picking on it and afterwards I looked like I got my tooth pulled out, but no regrets. And today we're making another ballet skirt. If you haven't seen last week's video, I did another style of skirt. And this week it's gonna be the classic wrap skirt that you see on all ballerinas. I wear this type of skirt to all my ballet classes and I made one before and I would like to try a few adjustments this time. And I do have some blue chiffon left over from my Snow Queen dress, which I don't think, uh, well, I know I didn't film it. <laughs> I tried, but I didn't. I have a reel on Instagram on it if you'd like to see it. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so we start out by folding the fabric in half and tracing a quarter circle with pins so we can cut out a half circle skirt. This honestly took a lot more math than I care to admit. Engineer vibes. Yeah, somehow in my mind 40 plus 45 equals 100 made sense in that moment, but no, the big radius should be about the desired length plus a bit less than half of your waist measurement. Next you will need to cut out your band and it needs to be way longer than it seems, at least two and a half to three times your waist measurement. And you can make it as wide as you'd like, I started out by cutting a wide one, but I later decided to make it thinner. Uh, the basic idea is you need to cut out a strip of fabric that is four times the width that you want your band to be because you need to fold it four times later. Using a basting stitch, gather the top to the desired length. And this is honestly very optional. I also made one without gathers and I think I like it better than this one. I will show you a comparison in a minute. Also, now would be a good time to tell you a little bit about my upcoming projects. I am leaving for a very exciting trip in five days and I still have two huge projects left to do before hand because I am a master procrastinator and I spent the whole weekend over planning those ones, procrastinating finishing this skirt and now I'm procrastinating sewing those uh, by editing this because I am so scared I'm going to mess them up and cry. I could really use a kick in the butt to get my shit together but um, back to the video. Right now I'm sewing the band to the gathered top and folding it over encasing the edges inside the band, top stitch on the right side and sewing is done. Lastly, I like to round the front and adjust the length, and it's much easier when you have a mannequin, but I didn't have one the first time around, so your brother will do just fine, no worries. Uh, you'll probably have to bribe him first, so I recommend a broke 17 year old, and you're good. To finish the edges, I usually just slide them over flame, which stops the fraying, and I find that it works well for me as I don't have a serger. And now, let me show you the final product. <laughs> 